Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about five things you can do every morning to improve your self-esteem as the, before the day starts, just to start out on the right note. So first thing I want to talk about is dressing well. So if you get up and you put on clothes that don't make you feel like your best self, you're probably not going to, to act like your best self. I used to just take the uh, oldest pair of pants and the oldest shirt, the one that were furthest back in my closet, and wear those to school. That was like when I was first year of high school. So sometimes I'd end up wearing white sweatpants and a white shirt, and I didn't act like I do now, where I'm, I'm uh, more motivated and I feel better about myself. And that was definitely a time of low self-esteem for me, but I, I know other people who took care of themselves. Just get up, put on something that makes you feel good about yourself, whether that's dressing as extra as you can, or just some nicer clothing. Wear that, and then do any other like self-styling things that make you feel better. So that might be styling your hair, that might be doing makeup, it, anything like that. But just dress nicely so you can feel good about yourself. The next thing is to do one easy workout in the morning. So most people have some kind of body issue or social anxiety related to how they look, whether it's uh, they weigh too much or think they weigh too much, or if they don't feel like they have enough muscle, depending usually if you're a guy or a girl. But um, if you do one simple workout in the morning, then it's gonna make you feel like you're moving towards achieving those goals. So that doesn't mean going to a gym. It doesn't even mean changing out of your pajamas. It just means like I do as many push-ups as I can after I've eaten before I go to work. Uh, and that's not like just sitting on the floor grinding out push-ups. That's like I do three, I take a break because I, I don't have that much muscle here. This, this just makes it look like I have more muscle but I do three push-ups, I get up, I do something else, like put in my contacts, I do three more push-ups, just to kind of feel like I'm working towards the goal. You don't have to do push-ups, you can do any kind of easy workout. Some people might want to do pull-ups, some people might want to do squats, but the thing is, is to make it achievable and small so it's not something that you're dreading in the morning. You could also do some kind of yoga. I have a queen bed now, finally, thank God. And so sometimes when I wake up, I just go into child's pose and then into uh, cobra, I think, and then cat and cow because I'm working on back flexibility because my work is entirely dependent on picking up heavy things. Try to do one simple workout every morning that you can just do in your bedroom that doesn't take much time. Number three is to set two small achievable goals for the day. So you don't wanna set humongous goals that you won't be able to accomplish because that's just going to make you feel worse about yourself later in the day. But if you achieve two small things every day, it's really going to help you feel better about yourself and feel like you're doing well in the world. So two things could be like, since I'm a writer, it could be writing 250 words, which isn't a ton. Or you can make it even smaller and just have it writing a sentence. Or if you're working on health and fitness goals, you can uh, have a goal of uh, actually preparing one new recipe that day. And things along those lines. Just very simple things, not that you're going to do anyway, but that will motivate you to do something to better yourself every day. Number four is to stay off social media. So this isn't all social media, but I've found that a lot of people that I follow on Facebook and other things like that, I envy a lot and it makes me feel worse about myself to see like, oh, this person is in Jamaica and they got a hundred likes on their photo and I just made this really cool like breakfast or art piece and I only got 10 likes. And that is a great way to sabotage your self-esteem as soon as you wake up in the morning. So either if you're not addicted to social media, try to wait until later in the day, like towards lunch, or, uh, or just stay off social media altogether. Or if that's way too much, because that's too much for some people, then 
try to unfollow and unsubscribe from people who don't make you feel good about yourself. So if you find one person that every time something pops up from them, it makes you feel bad, just change your settings so that they don't show up anymore. That's on any social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Just make it so that you don't see their stuff anymore because that is not improving your self-esteem and that's what today is about. You want to feel better about yourself and that's one of the easiest ways to do it. And then the last thing, number five, is when you look in the mirror or um, when you're thinking about yourself, like thinking about who you are like in your head, you need to try and think of a couple of things that you like. You can acknowledge the things that you don't like and you can try and do like research on how to change them, but that's not something you can do every morning. If you just stop and think, what's one thing I like about myself? What's one thing I like about my face or my body? Like, um, even if you hate your body, you can say, hey, well, I have um, a really nice nose, and then if I was just slimmer, then, then everything else would fall into place. Or you can think like, I really like my creativity or something like that. And that'll just give you a boost so that you feel a little bit better about yourself waking up in the morning. You can also try to think happier just in general and try to see the more positive side of things. This isn't an overnight change, but if you stop and try to act like the person you want to be, because usually your self-esteem is related because you don't like yourself. So you need to start acting like the person that you want to be, the person you would like. And so if you start thinking more positively and start thinking about that every day, it'll make it easier to start making those habits that'll make you feel better. So one of those things could be like, uh, if your posture is bad and the person you wanna be has great posture, then you can start like, instead of when you catch yourself slouching, going like, oh, I can't believe I'm slouching, this is, I'm so awful. Put your shoulders back and say, yes, I'm making progress. Like, this is good. At least I'm trying to make progress. Those were my five tips to do every morning to try to feel better about yourself, to raise your self-esteem. I'm going to be releasing um, another five self-esteem boosters that are more long-term um, and you can't necessarily do in the morning in a later video if you guys want to see it. All, whatever side the, I think the card's on this side. Uh, if you want to see that video, there'll be a poll right there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and have a sparkling day.